Hey everyone, this is me, Fabio here, and I'm back with the third week of April read, start from the 15th through the 21st of April 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding Oracle Guidance as well in this reading for you, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. We have our first card here, which is the moon. I really feel like, you know, um, this week is going to be the time where you are going to be thinking, contemplating a lot. Um, I really feel like, you know, there, there are so many things which are come to going to come to light for you. Uh, be that in regards to love, work, or home life. You will be open to receive some guidance. Intuition will be high for you. And I feel like you will be able to pick up some signs and messages coming from the divine as well during this week time. Let's see what else is happening for you this week. Ace of Cups. Page of Wands. <clears throat> Four of Swords. Underneath the deck, we do have the Judgment. Now, I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, there is a person, there is a situation developing for you in uh, in in this week time uh, where you will have to make a choice or decision. It is about something, it is something to do with the person, a relationship offer, which is either offered to you or you are planning to offer it to someone. Um, I really feel like, you know, you will be thinking a lot about this offer, be that you are, you are on the giving end or be that you are on the receiving end. And... This offer is something which is definitely very fulfilling. Uh, this offer is something which you really uh, want to pursue. But still, you will be giving your thoughts around, shall you accept it or not? Because there is a lot of things that you're going to weigh before you make that choice or decision. Um, even though it is going to be something that you know is right for you or that you know is uh, going to make you happy and fulfilled. But at the same time, you'll be thinking a lot you will be like you know going in the past going in the future and then decide for yourself what 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 are you going to do with this for some of you you might be on the giving end of this offer but um whatever the case is i really feel like you know uh, things are exactly happening the way you desire so whether you are on the giving end or whether you are on the receiving end there is a win-win outcome that i see coming up for you in this week time regarding this love life situation. Um, I really feel like, yes, you will be contemplating a lot, thinking a lot, but it's it's gonna help the two of you to start afresh. Even if it's a past person that you are dealing with, it is, you know, you thinking a lot about whole the scenario, whole of the, you know, connection uh, journey. It seems like, you know, it's gonna help you end a cycle and start a new one without having the baggage from the past. So whatever that might have been like, you know, painful, be that the cycle, be that the journey, but you are gonna put the put the hurt, pain, past in the past. Before you say yes to a connection, before you propose to someone, you are going to take charge and you're gonna move forward with, with grace into this connection uh, that I see coming up for you. So I really feel like, you know, um, some major decisions are definitely gonna be made. Listen to your intuition around it because I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you have been receiving a lot of signs coming from the God that you believe in around this connection. But I really see a lot of communication taking place. And I really feel for majority of you, it is somebody from the past, somebody that you already know, somebody that you have been dealing with for quite some time. Whether you are the one who's reaching out or they are the one, uh, they are the one who are reaching out. I do see communication here and... <clears throat> I really feel like, you know, the love is going to get expressed and accepted. Uh, I really feel like, you know, this connection seems to be going in the right direction for a majority of you. And uh, I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably this is a manifestation for, for either you or for your person. So I really see a lot of that situation heading forward in the right direction, giving you the emotional fulfillment that you truly desire of. So even there are some delays or even if there is time taken by you or your person, um, the outcome is going to be desirable for sure. Something that you want, something they want um, mutually is going to happen because you both are going to be very happy and fulfilled uh, with the software that is going to be made during this week time. Let's see the Oracle guidance for you. What is it that the divine really wants you to know and work towards to get what you want quicker? <clears throat> 
Miracle guidance for you for this week time. Speak out, communicate, and solve the conflicts. So the divine really wants you to talk, communicate, uh, resolve any issues that you might be having with your specific someone. Um, I really feel like you know, it's going to be a perfect time to um, speak your heart out to each other and be honest and open about what you both feel for each other rather than hiding away, running away from expressing love, feelings, emotions. It's time for you to, to talk openly and honestly. Um, transformation. Let love transform you forever. So I really feel like you know, the love that is coming up for you during this week time you got to allow this love to overshadow all and everything because I really feel like you know, there's a lot of past which uh, probably you have been holding on to uh, that you really need to release to, to move forward in the right direction when it comes to this connection and let the transformation take place. And I really feel like you know, for some of you, there might be some sort of delay in terms of like, you know, when you receive the communication or when you get into the communicative uh, cycle with this person. But uh, whenever that happens, just make sure that uh, you speak your truth to the one that you believe to be the one for you. Um, make sure that you're both very clear in terms of what you intend for each other and for the connection. Don't hide away. Don't try away. Be open to be um, there when it comes to your heart's uh, you know, uh, deepest feelings. Make sure that you reveal that to your person rather than like, you know, uh, shying away or hiding away from um, being expressive uh make friends friendship is the alchemy of success i really feel like you know for a majority of you probably the connection that you have with this person is uh definitely uh gonna benefit with a lot of communication probably your connection lacks friendship your connection lacks that um, you know you do have the feelings for each other you do have the love for each other, but then there is lack of communication, lack of friendship and within this bond that you have with this person. Um, it's time for you to get to know each other better, communicate openly and honestly. And then underneath the deck, we do have the ending trauma um, card, transform memories and symptoms. I really feel like, you know, it's time for a big transformation when it comes to your connection with your specific someone. It's time for you to, to become the bestest of friends for each other, communicate openly and honestly. Uh, reveal your deepest desires to each other. Be truthful to them and to yourself as well when it comes to your feelings, especially. Because I really feel like, you know, uh, holding back from being expressive has definitely affected the connection in a negative way. It's time to you uh, for you to uh, fix the, you know, situation. Resolving the conflicts is going to help and the communication is going to be the key to success. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys, take care and bye.